Namaste, fam. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, the definitive edition. Thank you all for being here. This is going to be episode 9, if you're watching this on the YouTubes. And in the last episode, we came over to the north of the Schwamp and rescued a chap named Gareth, who was right here. He was surrounded by magisters, and Gareth is the leader of a group called the Seekers. And, uh... We're going to go back to the Seeker's Refuge and uh, enjoy the spoils of having rescued their leader. Namely, getting our Source Callers removed, which is very, very good. Um, because Source Callers are bad. They make it so we can't use Source Magic. And we can't equip Necklaces, so we should be able to do that now. Yes, he is. You're welcome. She throws her arms around you in a tight embrace. Aw, stop it. Thank you, thank you. You're so good, so kind, so brave. Uh, my pleasure. She smiles and hugs you again. Doll. What a beautiful day. What a happy day. <laughs> my thanks, friend. I can't remember the last time I've seen her smile like that. If there's anything we can do for you, you have only to ask. Um, mention that you're still wearing the source collar. Yes, of course, of course. She extends her arms, reaching towards you with a look of total concentration on her eyes. You feel the collar start to twist, a living, writhing thing fighting for survival. With a scream of tortured metal, the collars snap, falling broken from your necks. No more choking. No more silence. You'll never be a slave to them again. Uh, thank her and take your leave. Let's see if she has anything to sell. Nope. Divine blessings upon you. Oh, gee, thanks. All right, so we have two characters with an empty necklace slot now, and we have two necklaces. So why don't we go ahead and throw? So we've got a crit necklace, thank you, sir, and an intelligence lucky charm necklace. Um, I think we'll go ahead and throw the crit. On to our rogue. That might not be the best idea. And we'll throw the Intelligence Lucky Charm onto Losa. Because I do want Losa to be specced into Hydro. So that she can do healing and that sort of thing. And Intelligence is going to make that slightly better. And she could actually equip Intelligence gear now. If we wanted. Probably not worth losing the point in strength. Uh, hello. The young man has abandoned. Can I sell you some shit? His armor with happy urgency. He sees you approach. Do you have all these spell books? I'm pretty sure you do. You do. Let's just get rid of some shit real quick. We're not going to need any of these grenades, like ever. Uh, we're not going to be shooting. First aid. Do we need that first aid? No, we already have first aid. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to save those. Because I have plans to use them. Uh, probably don't need all these random potions. I have chameleon cloak, so that's pointless. God, could they shut up? That'd be nice. And we'll go ahead and balance those scales, except see if we have anything to get rid of on Losa. Don't need this, that, that. Get rid of those. Intelligence potion, sure, sure, sure. Nest. Sorry, I probably could have done this before I started the the video but here we are all right cleaned out our inventories a little bit now what are we going to be doing back to lead us and if I know him he must have found those source weapons we might actually have a chance at surviving this yep all right let's see if we can find Gareth talk to him he's around here somewhere there's the chap hey buddy you come at last. 
I'd no doubt you'd find your way to us. Not after witnessing your bravery. I know you seek answers. I'll tell you what I can. Mm. What brought you to Fort Joy? Gareth pauses. My friend, the Void Woken feast on us. There is no longer a divine to channel the will of the Seven. A new one must rise. Oh, yeah? Only a God Woken, blessed with the blood of heroes, may ascend to divinity. But few are left. We knew of one, Verdas. He is why we came here. There were others, but they fell like crab apples from their branches. Someone else looks for Godwoken. Not to liberate them, but to kill them. Interesting. Very well, but do return. Together we might... Alright, so. We need to find some special weapons called purging wands so we can defeat the shriekers and get the seekers out of here but in the meantime we have some things to do i know i have a fight right over here with some skeletons that i believe i missed early on so let's see if we can do this hop into some action pretty sure we didn't fight these guys yeah no 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 there's a skeleton right there so let's fight them and mostly we're just going to be exploring the swamp today. I want to commit sewage side. Don't do that, Cassie. How are you, Cassie? <laughs> Don't do that. Um, let's just tactical retreat up here. Get a little haste going on. And, oh god, why? Why do my characters miss so much? I don't understand. It's like 5% chance not to hit. And I feel like it happens constantly. Nice. Free attack of opportunity there. I'm good just upcycling some clothes. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you're good. Can I remove that polymorph anyway? Um, yeah, I don't know how. I'm sure there's a way to remove it, but I don't think I have it. Right, let's just start killing some people. Yes. Unfortunately, the poison on my weapons is not doing us any favors right now. Clear mind, it doesn't remove it. Um, so poison has the interesting effect of healing undead. So by having poison on all of my weapons, we're actually gonna be healing these guys for a little bit every time we attack them. But that's okay. We do far more physical than we do poison. Um, let's blink behind him. Give him the old sawtooth. Nice. Nice. I'm turning old clothes into new ones. Oh, cool. I didn't know that was a thing, but I like it. He taking a lot of damage. Yeah, attack her. Good job. Very, very logical, just running back and forth between us. I love it. Uh, let's get behind. I am crippled. Cannot move. Okay. Can we break his physical armor? Get an extra action point. And. Nice. Nice. She's gonna be fine, don't worry. And with you. I'd like to get some more movement abilities on Losa. That would be good. All we have is tactical retreat. All right, I have CC. Haven't even thought about using it. Sure, let's do that. Stupid chicken, you're gonna kill yourself. Haha. -ha.
And you're dead. Alright, that was easy. Got some XP. Let's see what we can get for loot. Shadow Essence. Walk to me. Whoa. Walk with purpose. I am near. What? Sense your presence. So very far. So very Hey! There's a ruby up there. I want a ruby. Can I... Teleport my friend up there to get the ruby? Yes, I can. Nice. Alright, you. Grab that. Neato. Little gold. Cool. And then just jump back down. Alright, what else do we got around here? We've got the burning pigs, of course. Uh, we are going to need to get the bless spell before we can save the pigs from their fiery fate. Uh, I don't want to be over here yet. Yep, I'm sorry. It's got to suck. Looks like you're having a bad... Ow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There are a couple chests over here, so let's just go ahead and loot those. We'll come back to save the piggies later. That ominous voice that just spoke to us is a god. The god of, I think, the elves? And we're going to have to go to the god realm soon and speak to the god. And the god is going to give us the ability to bless. And then we're going to be able to bless these pigs in... Uh, Put them out, because they are eternally on fire. Which sounds pretty damn awful, if you ask me. Let's just jump over here. This is where we fought all of those uh, little goobers. In the past. Give me those yarrow flowers. So we're going to try and acquire the skill Bless today. Or in this first hour. I have a general idea of where to go to do that, but... There's a lot of stuff packed into this map, so... We'll see what happens. I, soul I am the death of Losa, And all that lives inside. Okay. Time to fight some salamanders. Neato. Um, I'm just gonna have you delay... You're also super tired? I'm sorry, Cass. Well, lay down, take a nap, watch the stream. Sounds pretty good, right? Okay, these guys are actually pretty tough. How did I not get an attack of opportunity for that would be my question. Um, let's go ahead and camp. Alright, that makes that simpler. Mo simple. Let's blink behind this one. Let's stab it. Stab that one. Get a little bonus AP. And right, I didn't learn slam on you yet. That's okay. We should be able to go like that. Of course, we missed. Bar for the course. Bar for the course. And we'll get behind you. And go for some back steps. Might be able to finish this one off. Nice! She's got really good damage when she's behind a target. It's just... Get them CC'd. And do some damage. No, I must sew. Alright, well. You do you, boo. I ain't gonna judge you. Get be 
behind. Almost dead. These seem stronger at first, but they're actually not very strong. Amulet of the Void. Finesse ranged and and an empty rune slot, which is really good. Because I believe you can get hit chance from certain gems if you socket it in a necklace. Pretty sure it's necklace, but let's uh let's look into that. So let's go manage runes. Maximum magic armor, movement, and crit chance. Okay. I think if we had the right type of gem, we could get hit chance here. But... I think we're going to go for crit chance. And we're going to give this to... So it's got finesse on it, so we definitely want you to have it. That seems like a good upgrade. The range d doesn't do anything, but finesse and crit, it's a lot better than one to wits. All right, and then we've got something to dig up here. We've got some finesse gloves, intelligence ring, and a mask of strength. Some of those are probably upgrades. So, intelligence ring, boo. Oh, that's an upgrade. And it's got a gem slot on it. Let's see if we can... There's probably not really anything worth putting in here, just... Eh, physical armor, sure. How much is this going to give us? Two physical armor? Eh. Whatever. Good enough. And we could drop our teleportation gloves for the second skin. Just probably, maybe not worth it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And sure, we'll just take a little extra water resistance. Probably never gonna come into play, but I don't care, I'll take it. Cat woke up at one for wet food. Oh, kitty. It's adorable. Let's grab all of this shit while we're at it. Pretty sure. Yes, there is a shortcut here to the Seeker's hideout if you bother to kick down that vine, which I didn't do, but that doesn't matter. And just loot this last Magister, and I think this will bring us to the cave that we need to progress through to learn the spell Bless. I think there might be something in the shipwreck over here. Look out. I see a trap. Careful now. That's a trap. Go. Just just hit it. Just hit it. I don't care. What's this? Yeah. I found something. Got another chest. Ooh. Ooh. Nice stuff. Let's go ahead and identify. And identify. Finesse and Scoundrel on the helmet. Damn. Definitely going to use that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. It's kind of cool looking, but I still like the Asian pinned up hair. Um, Would this weapon do more damage? We're at 52 to 66. 71 to 74. That is an upgrade. Dope. Two-handed, and we're actually utilizing our points in two-handed that we picked up by mistake on Losa. So that's probably a big part of why that's actually doing so much more damage. But hey, more damage is more damage. I'm happy. Hello. 
Mushrooms. Give me those mushrooms. Alright, so we can't go through there. That is magically blocked. Hello. Well, don't you look like hell? Swallowed something that doesn't agree with you? Tell me. Was it a demon's nice, big... Ew. Turn away from this pig before he can finish his sentence. Yeah, time to get fucked, dude. <sighs> Quite the vision, aren't I? Fuck off. Crick. Alright. That all you got? Alright, that's just an illusion. We're gonna have to find the real one. Uh, all these crates here are just, uh, traps. So I'm not gonna bother opening those. All they do is freeze you for like a turn. It's kind of annoying. Alright, we're gonna have to fight this asshole again in this room. Let's come around this way and grab some mushrooms. Up we go. Uh, you coming? Whenever you're ready, sweetie. Didn't I tell you to leave? Wasn't I clear that you're not welcome here? Yeah, you were pretty clear. You can't teach a fool anything. If you say so. Alright. So we gotta fight three of them this time. Why don't you come over here? Let's backstab in. Let's go for a sawtooth. And let's just. What does atrophy do? Character cannot use weapons for attacks or skills. Interesting. Let's just finish that one off. 1200 XP, pretty damn good. Let's jump over there. And start to beat this guy up. Okay. Okay. Got me all wet. Saucy. Yep. Not a problem. Can we jump across? Almost. So we'll use that to get over there. We'll use this to get right there. And we'll step behind him for no AP. That's adrenaline. Let's go for rupture tendons. And let's just kill him. Oh. I was thinking about turning him into a chicken, but figured we'd just go for the KB, but it didn't line up that way. That's okay. Clearly, we've got this in the bag. There we go. These guys just disappear. They don't drop any loot. We do get a fucking chest. Poor little puppet slave. Somewhat brain dead, aren't you? I can tell you really love this Let game. Yes, I do. It's fucking great. In the real world, treasure doesn't simply appear from on high. I really enjoy tactical games. I don't usually play them on the channel because they're generally kind of like slow paced kind of dull, which this probably is, but <laughs> I do love them. Alright, let's just kill this asshole. Poor idiot. Fuck you. What a prick. What a prick. 
Shut up! Stop mocking me! Yeah. Alright. Feel a little better. Oh, some grenades. Let's grab those. A water balloon. Back here, isn't there? Yes, through the shrubbery. Look Need to out. clean these glasses, they're getting all smudgy. Careful, I've spotted a trap. Have you? Really? Careful, careful. Spotted yep, uh huh, uh huh. You spotted a trap, yep, yeah. uh huh. What's this? I don't remember there being a vine here. What's down here? How do I not remember this? Why do I keep getting bottles of water? You trying to tell me I'm thirsty? Neato. Ah. That is what the luck proc from our necklace looks like. Luck is one of the uh, civil skills that you can get. And whenever you loot something, anything at all, you have a chance for luck to proc and give you like bonus gold or bonus scrolls or something like that. So it's kind of nice to have. Yeah, yeah, give me that wine. All these decorative items we can sell for a decent amount. Paintings, give me that sword. Bottle of wine. Upgrading your gear does get pretty expensive in the end game. Like, I had like, uh. Something like 100,000 on my first character. And I decided to go just on a shopping spree and buy a bunch of like skill books that I wanted. And a bunch of new gear. And I spent like 80,000. Like, easily. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I thought I had way too much gold and I would never be able to use it all. No. The more gold you can get, the better. So it is worth stocking it up for when you need it. Alright, pretty sure this is just a trap, but... Ah, oh, cool, yeah, frozen, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Psych, I got two characters, bitch. Oh, cool, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, under lock and key. Pick it! Alright. Now, in this room, there is a very annoying, difficult fight. But there is a way to make your life just a little bit easier. We're gonna break party. We're gonna go invisible. Basically, you gotta fight like five of those annoying skeleton guys that we've been fighting. And they're just a particularly annoying version of themselves. They like jump around this room. Only four. Well, they like jump around, they're super annoying. And they have like lots of CC spells that like freeze you for the turn, and it's just annoying. Uh, but what you can do is you, you can just come right in here and smash his soul jar, and uh, win the fight instantly. You made it all this way. Uh, yeah. No thanks to you. I'm. I'm sorry. No, oh, are you? He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet sob. <laughs> Bitch. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Brachus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there. And I can't leave without it. Sucks. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. Uh, what did you do to earn such a punishment? I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. 
I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. Yep. His favor was intoxicating. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. Uh, I'll agree to help and break really? his soul jar. You... You would? Yeah. He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Gross. Get off me. Thank you. Yeah. Great. 4,000 experience for that. And I'm pretty sure by doing it this way, because we left Losa in combat with those other four skeletons, we actually got XP as if we had defeated them. Fun fact, in case you try to use this strategy yourself. Uh, I wish I could compare that axe to our other weapon. That's pretty good, too. Finesse gives strength and necromancy. That's weird. I'm pretty sure there's no way to compare gear. Like, I can't compare this axe to the axe that Losa has because I'm stuck in this quest completion screen, which is something I would have liked if they had uh, changed. Pretty sure this axe is not better than that one. So let's just go for the one-hander. And, uh, nice runes. You get in here. You keep looting. Yeah. No, I'm, fuck off, squirrel. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to loot shit. Uh, let's take that. Nice. Let's take that. We're going to use all these soul jars for various things. Ooh, an epic dagger. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and take that. Nice. Actually, you had the rest of the soul jars, you take them all. Nice. And we find our first purging wand. Look at that wand. It hums with inner source. Yes, which is something that we are going to need. This is where you find that set that I was telling you guys about earlier on, oh, uh, the five-piece set that's cursed, that's where you find the chest piece right there in that brazier. Brazier. Brazor. However the fuck you say it. Not the porn site. You know. You guys know what I'm saying. Alright, so we did all that shit. Um, it's time to go talk to our gods, but before we do that, let's go ahead and see if we got any upgrades. We got... Saboteur, Saboteur, 11 to 12 physical, so it's on par with our Dwarven Dagger. It does plus one to finesse, as opposed to plus one to dual wielding. 7% lifesteal, chance to silence. Hmm, that's not really an upgrade, unfortunately. So, I think we're actually going to keep on the green dagger that we have. I mean, it's, it's like exactly the same, but then I would have to go upgrade it with poison, and that's just effort that I don't want to put in for a, like, pound for pound upgrade. Um, so that's 21 to 22. Yeah, all right. I don't think got any upgrades there. It's a strength chest piece that gives intellect and scoundrel. That's weird. Definitely a defense upgrade, but... I think I'd rather keep the strength? Yeah. Okay. So I don't think we actually got any upgrades there, unfortunately. I thought we would, but let's go ahead and click on this the statue here. The hands are missing, severed as if by a sword. You can't tell if this was meant to be symbolic somehow, or a mere act of vandalism. Uh, there's something strange about this statue. Look it over with great care. As you take in its chiseled details, you have a vision. The statue comes to life and embraces you awkwardly with its broken arms. Unable to resist, you're flown away into an endless dark. Oh my. That shrine seems to have brought me here. What is this place? It's the in-between. The land of the gods. 
or at least one of the realms that they occupy. Amid the soundless air of this alien world, you see a wraith-like elf standing tall. He eyes you imperiously. Hello. So, you have found me. Yep. She who I plucked from the water, she sank and drowned. Who I tossed unto the shore with seaweed in her hair, salt and sand upon her skin. You have described it perfectly. Sabeel, the scarred one. The woman bearing the mark of infamy. You clearly know who I am. Kneel before me. That's a little bold. Slave. Oh, how fucking dare you, bitch. How fucking dare you. Uh, refuse him, say you befe kneel before no man. Or we could smile coyly and ask for his name. You've just the spot for it on your arm. Ah. Uh. Before no man. Ha! <laughs> but before a god? Yeah, how about you calm the fuck down? I am Tyr Sandilius, most magnificent of the seven. And you will kneel before me. Uh, refuse him still, you kneel before no one. Insolent wench! <laughs> What'd you do to me? Cast spirit vision on me. If you will not kneel before me, you will do me one better. Whoa. You feel Starting to get a little rapey, dude. Energy digging into your shoulders. Two great claws that force you to the ground, bruising your knees. Rude? I am your god. I will have your worship. I do not fucking like you. I have you on your knees. Now, crawl to me and kiss my feet. Yo, fuck this guy. Uh... Neither fire nor force will compel you. You remain defiant. You refuse. A claw returns. Five unseen talons splayed over the crown of your head. As it slowly starts to push you down, you know you cannot resist. Is this coming across as rapey to anybody else? I don't, don't like you it. you keep defying me, Sabeel? Kiss my feet. I don't like you. You're gross. Uh, it may be pointless, but you push back against the claw. You strain and sweat, but you damn well keep pushing back. What is this? What is this sudden resolve? I am Sabeel, motherfucker. You will not kneel before me like you kneeled before a lizard? You will not kiss my feet like you kissed your masters? I didn't kiss no lizard feet. Shut the fuck up. Isn't it rather late, Sabeel, for this pathetic show of pride? You need to calm the fuck down, let sir. Let yourself be scarred. You let yourself be manipulated and puppeteered. Uh-huh. For shame. Uh-huh. How dare you? Uh-huh. Do you not realize what you are? Uh-huh. God woken. Uh-huh. <laughs> God woken, defiantly sneer, you are Sabeel. There is nothing else to realize. Look at him incredulously. He made you go through this demeaning experience for show. Tell him he is mistaken. You never let anybody... Never let anything be done to you. You were forced, just like he was now forcing you. Uh, God woken. We're gonna sneer in his face. And I am Sabeel. And what makes you think you still have the right to a name? What's any self-worth? Yeah, could you other gods shut up? I'm trying to talk. You're being kind of loud. Uh, okay. Slavery. Uh-huh. Submission. Uh-huh. It is in your blood. Uh-huh. His words sting like daggers. But then, quite unexpectedly, his stern countenance softens and an air of melancholy crumbles his bastion-like facade. Uh -huh. Then again, submission. Maybe it's in my blood as well. Bitch. <laughs> How can a god be com uh, submissive? God is but a word. A god's worth is defined by power. Fair enough. What have I left of true power? I don't know, you did that claw thing on me. Nothing. Okay. I submitted them all. All seven of us did. Allowed them to be stolen by a man named Lucian. Okay. He took them. He kept them. Sure. But now, the usurper is dead. And the power of seven gods lies free for the taking. Uh, 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 we'll ask the obvious question, why doesn't he take it? I cannot. Not from this world that is no world. The home of spirits and dead memory. Mm, sucks. This is not a realm in need of saving. Ours is. Okay. The world is without gods. It is a fat-bellied beast, blind and tethered, ripe for void-woken teeth. Uh -huh. The world is without gods. 
but it is in need of one. Okay. One. And all I have to show for is you. His features harden once more, and his eyes fill with contempt as he takes a step closer. Sabeel, the scarred one. Fuck you, bitch. Another step. The slave. Fuck you. And another. He is almost upon you now, uncomfortably close, his breath clammy like a humid mist. Gross. Uh, rage builds within. You've had enough of this condescension. Bury your needle in his impotent heart. The needle pierces Tears and Delius's gossamer flesh. A heartbeat strong as a quake reverberates through the metal and into your hand, arm, chest. A power pulses, 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 and explodes within your soul. All goes black for the briefest of moments, but when you come to, you see your own name grafted into your skin. Gilded letters in an ancient alphabet. Huh. Slave. Across the word. Never more will you be such a thing. I give you your name back. I give you yourself back. You are my champion. You are my chosen one. Huh, this took a turn. As such I have named you. As such I have blessed you. And now yours is the power to bless in turn. Okay. I bless the very water beneath your feet. Now you may wield that power for yourself. A first taste of things to come. For this is only the beginning. Okay. From here on out, there are two things that await you. Death and divinity. Yours will be the choice. Death or divinity. Now you must go back to your world, my chosen one, and make your escape from the piece of rock they landed you on. Uh -huh. Before I let you go, however, there is one more matter we must touch upon. You are traveling with company, yes? Uh, yeah, I've made some unlikely friends. No, not friends, rivals. They are godwoken too, and no, may she's be not. courted by the lesser six, but you will be a god, none other. Smile at your fellow wanderers, but ready your knife, for its time will come. Uh, she is not a godwoken, she is possessed by a demon, sir. There's oh, a difference. And Losa, lovely little Losa. Just kill her now and be done with it. Fuck you, bitch. That's my girl. With that, I bid you goodbye, Sabiel. Goodbye. We will meet again, anon. Okay, we got the ability to bless. You hear a sharp chittering from the ground. It seems your squirrel friend is having an argument with his cat. After a quick back and forth, the squirrel throws up its paws and reaches out to touch your foot. Okay. You feel a strange new power fill your body. The squirrel sits back, sulking, and the cat struts away cheerfully. Cool. Uh, you gave me the ability Erratic Wisp, which I appreciate, Mr. Squirrel. And as we are a polymorph, we can learn that if I can find it in my bags. Um, the hell is it? Probably looking right at it. It should be like right here, yeah? Or did I automatically learn the ability? No. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Um, so we've got Bless now, so we can go save the pigs. Okay, Los has got Bless bar, so that's good. What the hell is that skill? I just picked it up. Erratic Wisp. Like, it's not fucking here. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Squirrel. Thanks for giving me something that's invisible. Alright, team. We did this cave. Go ahead and get out of here and go save some burning pigs. Because they deserve it. Piggies. All the way over here. There should be enough source around on the ground to save all the pigs. I think.
Yeah. There we go. Alright. There's one pig. Let's grab this source. Stop running. Stop fucking running. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Hold still, I want to save you. Okay. Bless pig. 600 XP. Cool. Mm, yeah. Oh, hello. The menacing skeletal guardian looks at you wearily. Then you're tall. Yawns. So you dare defy the will of Blackus Rex. Prepare to die and so on and so forth. Let's get this over with. Uh, tell her you bet she's real fun at parties. And I am sure. You're a pure delight at funerals. Uh, touche. I hope this brings the discussion to an end. I don't like being roused from slumber, only to be greeted by such banality. All right. She heaves a great sigh, unnecessary given her lack of lungs. Finally, an end to this dull conversation. Yeah, if you want to die, I'm happy to kill you. Looks like I can't quite get behind her. So we'll just punch her from the front. Knock her down. Easy peasy. Mac. Mac. And Mac. Nice. That was easy. So she is a immortal servant of Brachus Rex. Uh, apparently here to make sure that nobody... Uh, stops these pigs from being tortured. Kind of a weird job, but, you know, not here to judge. I just got some shit from you. I think it was that ring. Let's see, 10 magic armor, plus one to geo and fire resistance. That's, nah. Stick with what I've got. Uh, like my leggings the way they are. And this is actually kind of a cool one-hander. It's got plus 10 to crit, which is really good. But it's like a pyro mace. Which is definitely weird. Uh, we're not going to use that, but it is an interesting weapon. If you ask me. Let's get this piggy. That's two. We get 600 XP each time we save one of these pigs, so. Looks like there are three pigs left. Need to find some more source. There's some more. Look out! Look out! I see a trap nearby. Let's bless this one. You're welcome. I'm almost positive there's some more source around here. Most positive. But where is it? Where is the sauce? Hmm. There's a really hard fight right here, so I don't want to walk over here yet. Maybe they only give you three source around here. So let's come over to Losa. Let's take Bless on her temporarily. Um, let's just drop Adrenaline for a second. Let's grab Bless and come up here. Come back. Yeah, come here. Bless, take Adrenaline back. And we're going to have to find some more source somewhere else, it would seem, before we can save the last pig. And I actually see a poison barrel here, which is nice. We can use that. Oh my god, this fucking... This fucking oil. Let's go ahead... Combine this barrel with her new two-hander. Give it a little bonus damage. 
And then we'll just uh, throw the barrel away. Alright. So let's look at where we're at. Okay, so we can do the really hard fight that we're right next to. We could go do Brachus Rex's castle. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just do the fight. Hopefully, we're tough enough at this point. Um, maybe, 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 maybe we'll approach this from the side over here. And force them to come to us if we can. Hey, what's up, Steph? I'll be back later. I gotta do some work stuff. Alright. See you later. Uh, anything valuable in here? Take that book. Fire arrowheads are pretty valuable. Cheese. Sure, I'll take the cheese. What's in here? Oh, this is where we fought the Magisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're about to fight our first big-ass Void Woken. Any moment now. actually bring you back here. Losa is going to start the fight. There it is. One, two, three, four, five undead and a big ass void woken. Yeesh. All right, you. You're going to tactical retreat back here to give yourself haste. We're going to fight over here. And you... Oh, shit, they can hit me from there. That's annoying. Nonetheless, this should work. Should get them all to group up. If we move right over here. Let's go ahead and just end turn. Can you? Haha, <laughs> dumb bitch. So it looks like we have LOS them. So they should start coming over this direction. Nice. One at a time. That works for me. These guys are all level 6, so they're not exactly weak. Uh, let's just go ahead and delay turn. That doesn't do anything. Let's just end turn. Fine. Yeah. All right, time to fight. Let's go ahead and blink behind you. Let's go for backstab. Saw two. Ah, finish him. We'll use Flesh Sacrifice to get one more AP so we can finish him off. One down. That's a lot of poison, alright. Which is not ideal, because we don't want to fight Undead on poison because it heals them. So, eh, fuck it. Let's just beat him up. I think it'll be fine. That should remove some of the poison. OK. 
Okay. You are you will. All right. I'm glad the big boy hasn't come over here yet. He does have the ability to blink around the battlefield, and it's quite strong, so that works for me. Could you get behind the target, please? Thank you. Ugh. I just had a tiny bit more damage. That would be nice. Okay. Really not doing that much damage. It's just delay turn. Probably should have moved. That's fine. Alright, big boy's on the move. Curse on Losa. But she didn't get cursed, which is interesting. Ow. Alright, she's frozen. That's something we need to fix. Cured by magic, shell, and bless. Well, I can't bless you, unfortunately. Let's regenerate. First aid. Let's get behind this boy. Stab him in the back. Let's go for adrenaline. Rupture tendons and turn him into a chicken. really in a bad spot. And fuck, she's frozen for two turns. Oh man, she's gonna die. I don't think there's anything I can do to save her. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to save her. She's just gonna die. Uh, so let's just finish off this chicken. Give it the old sawtooth. Stop freezing Losa, you cunt. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, attack her. Thank you. Alright, we're still in it. He dead. We're gonna have you. God, you're still frozen. For another two turns. This is not good. Let's get behind that. Stab. And we'll just stab again. Ew. Yeah, she's gonna die. Oh shit. She dead. Not good. Not good. As long as Sabeel can survive this turn, we should be just fine. So we're going to use a Resurrection Scroll on Losa. Let's just plop her right there. Shit, I was really hoping her turn would come before this guy. But we can CC him with Battering Ram. We didn't miss, that's very good. We're out of line of sight. Now you can chug a big ass potion. How much health do you have? Let's heal for 290. Very good. Let's punch him in the face once. And 
and go ahead and knock him down. Try and remove some of this poison on the ground. Oh, it's cursed, so we can. And we'll go ahead and encourage. Finish this bitch off. Nice. Move up a little closer, and we will end turn. We should be able to jump over to this platform with both of them, I'm hoping. No, we cannot. Perhaps if we came over here? Yes. Good. Blood rain, okay. Just don't freeze her. Alright, let's bring you over here. Let's go for another tactical. Start to bring the pain. Sawtooth. And that's gonna finish that one off. And you can knock it down. And turn. Oops. Nope, that worked. We're fine. Alright, cool. That was a really hard fight. Uh, but we used the battlefield to our advantage, and it worked out quite well. Which I'm happy about. I don't care about crafting recipes. And we need to get back over to this ledge. So we can do the looty. Now nah, let's just let's just run. Fuck it. Just run back over there. Pretty sure this big ass void woken will give us some cool gear. Hopefully, we'll get some upgrades from this. All right. We got. The Amulet of the Deep, which gives immunity to stun. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Small flame rune, nice. Okay, necklace and a dagger for us to identify. Cool. 11 to 12 finesse and dual wielding. That might be an upgrade. And some finesse leggings. So we got 10 and 7, 11 and 8. Constitution and fire resistance or dodge. We'll go with the, the upgrade, the ones we just got. And this dagger is going to replace... Hmm. Oh, that's why that one does more damage, because we have bonus physical damage in it with that gem. Let's go ahead and, but I like that point to dual wielding. I think we're actually gonna replace this one here. Let's make sure we don't waste that rune. Let's take it out of there. And that seems like a good place to call this episode nine for the YouTubes. Uh, we got some good stuff done today. And of course, if you're watching this live, we are gonna be continuing for the next few hours. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the next episode will probably post tomorrow. So I love your faces, uh, stubble heart, like and subscribe and do all that jazz, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.